join us this week as we talk about the sex abuse scandal in the church and how we should move forward. Over the past several days, we have learned shocking news of sex abuse within the church once again. They were covered up in an era when there was a call for things to be brought out into the open and to have transparency. And yet these crimes that were committed by these men were not brought forward. They were covered up and justice was not served. And I think that is precisely what makes a lot of people frustrated and angry, including myself and also my brother priests who work hard to be good shepherds, that we are frustrated and angry with you. The reality is, is that it would be easy for us to just walk away, but it's bigger than that. The church is bigger than any bishop or cardinal or priest. It's bigger than any scandal because the church belongs to our Lord Jesus, who is perfect and the divine one. Dear people, we need to use our voices to speak against injustice, to call our leaders to be accountable, to call all people to be transparent about all these matters. It's necessary in order for us to have a healthy church. In addition to praying for that, we need to use our voices to stand up against injustice. We need to cling to Jesus in the Eucharist. Our gospel is appropriately about the power of Jesus in the Eucharist, where he says, unless you eat my flesh and drink my blood, you have no life in you. Those words were powerful, shocking to the people that heard it, but it was the truth that Jesus wanted to convey, that he would become our food for the journey. So we don't need to flee or run away from the church. We need to stay here and bring change and to cling to Jesus in the Eucharist. The evil one, Satan, if he wants to destroy the church, the biggest way to be able to do that is from within. It was an apostle that betrayed Jesus that led to his crucifixion. So we see that this corruption within the church, these evil things that have happened within the church, the reason that they happen is to take down the church from within. Support those good shepherds, call for justice, and cling to Jesus in the Eucharist. He is the source of our life. He is our food for the journey. He is leading us to salvation. My dear brothers and sisters, this is a painful time, monumental, historical in our lives. What we do from here matters greatly. Let's band together as brothers and sisters and be people that work for justice, to find peace. Let us be people that seek to nourish ourselves with the bread of life and to move forward as the pilgrim people of God.